Welcome. What I want to do today is show you how to add these three polynomials. Now, this is a big, big problem, right? So, to do this, we're going to want to do this in the simplest way possible. And one thing I'm looking at is I'm seeing all these parentheses up here. And these parentheses, or these grouping symbols, are just grouping our terms, our terms together, but there's really no need for us to group them together. They're really not doing anything. I can't combine any one of these uh, grouping symbols or any one of these polynomials anymore. So first thing we do is I'm going to get rid of my grouping symbols, my parentheses in this case. So now that I'm gonna, now that I have rid of them, what I want to do is remember that I can only combine like terms. I can only add and subtract polynomials when I'm using like terms. And what I mean by like terms, if you look at this term, I have negative 8x to the 4th. Well, I can only add or subtract uh, x to the 4th times another term that is also x to the 4th, meaning the same base as x with an exponent 4. So looking at all of my terms, the only term that I see I can combine that to is a negative 5x to the 4th. So what I'm going to do for this problem, just to kind of show you again, seeing everything, I'm going to rewrite this whole polynomial with terms that um, I can combine. So first two terms I know I can combine are my negative 8x to the 4th minus my 5x to the 4th. Then I look at my next term. Well, that's going to be a negative 12x cubed y. So now I need to look at what are all the terms that have a x cubed y. So I have a negative 14x cubed y. And that's not, that's close, but that's an xy cubed. And then I have a negative 4x cubed y. And then now lastly, I look at this term and I see, all right, this has a 4xy cubed. And that was the other one. Well, I can only combine that with a negative 7xy cubed. So it's a positive 4xy cubed minus 7xy cubed. So now, now that I have everything arranged, Together, now what I can simply do is just combine them as they are. So a negative x to the fourth minus 5x to the fourth, and you can just think of these as simple terms. Um, you can have negative 8 minus negative 5 is going to be a negative 13 as your term remains the same. All right. Now I do negative 12x cubed y minus negative 14x cubed y minus 4x cubed y. Since all the terms are the same, I can just keep on subtracting my two numbers. So negative 12 minus 14 is a negative 26. Minus 4 is going to be a negative 30x cubed y. And then lastly, I have my last two terms, 4xy cubed minus negative 7xy cubed. Again, since they're the same terms, I can just subtract. So I have 4 minus 7 is going to be a negative 3xy cubed. And there you go. That's how you simplify. Thanks.